Solving equations with decimals. To solve equations with decimals, you use the same steps as solving equations with integers. And those steps were gone over in a little more detail in the previous video where we talked about solving multiple step equations. Let's just review them quickly here. The first step was removing the brackets using a distributive property. And then we combined like terms on the same side of the equal sign. There's like terms, you combine them. Step C, or the third one, move all variables to the same side of the equation, usually the left-hand side. D, or the fourth one, isolate the term with the variable by removing the other terms. So if there's a, a variable there and you've got a couple of other t another term with it, you can remove it by adding or subtracting that term with the other side of the equation, the equal sign. Uh, and last, but lastly, we isolate the variable, variable by using the inverse operations of multiplication and division to remove the exponent, or the uh, coefficient, I should say. So, excuse me. Um, and so we'll do some questions in a minute with decimals, though. Uh, this is another uh, note here I want to just mention. If you don't like calculating with decimals, you can remove the decimals by multiplying every term in the equation by a power of 10 which moves the decimal point to the right. So I want to move it one place, I move it multi to, the, to the right, I move, I, for instance, if I multiply 10 times uh, the 6.1, I want to move that, that one place to the, to the right, I multiply that, and I get 61. If I had a, a number like 6.18, I want to move it two places to the right, I'd have to multiply this by 100. Two, two zeros and a hundred, it moves it two places to the right, and it gets 618. So let's just do um, a couple of, of questions here. I'll do one both methods. I'm going to use the same question here. And uh, so here's the question. Method one I'm going to do like I would normally do. And then we'll do it the method of removing the decimals if you like to do that. First off, the same steps. There's no brackets. But there's axes on both sides here. So let's put them all on the same side. So I'm going to, I like to move them all to the, to the uh, left-hand side. So I've got a minus 16.2x here. Let's do the opposite of that. Let's plus 16.2. That'll remove it. That'll cancel it out. But I have to do the same thing to both sides. So I bring it over on the left-hand side. I do the same thing. I come over to the way where the x's are. I put 16.2x there. So I can add those together and I get 31.5x plus, I got the 4.3 still, equals 16.9. Now we've got to uh, if you keep all the steps through. Next thing is i got to get rid of the extra terms on the left-hand side there. And there's a plus 4.3, so we do the opposite, the inverse. We minus 4.3, do it to both sides. So the 4.3 is gone now. That leaves me to 31.5x equals, subtract those and I get 12.6. Now I'm going to uh, get rid of that 31.5. How do I do that? I do the same thing I do when I do integers. It's multiplying the x. I'm going to divide by 31.5. Same thing to both sides. And that cancels out the 31.5, leaves me with x all by itself. And then if I'm not, uh, you know, if you can do it in your head, fine. But uh, let's see here. Let's bring up a calculator. And we're going to do 12.6, 12.6 divided by, oh, I made a little mistake there. Let's clear that. This is 112. 12.6 divided by 31.5. 5 equals, and there we go, it's 0.28, okay, so 0 0.28, say so round it off to 4, and we'll leave it at that. Okay, uh, the other side, we're going to do this one, the way we we talked about above here the second, uh, the note B, where we get rid of the decimals. So the, here I've got one decimal place on each of these numbers. I'm going to multiply every term here by 10. So this term is going to get multiplied by 10. This term gets multiplied by 10. This one by 10. And this one multiplied by 10. 
So 10 times the first one is 153 X plus 43 equals 169 minus 162 X. Okay, so I've got no decimals to worry about. So let's just follow through here. Get, bring all the X's to the same side. So we're going to plus instead of minusing, so it cancels out. Plus. Okay, we add those up. And we have 315X plus 43 equals 169. Now we're going to take and minus 43 to get rid of that term there. There we go. And I got 315x equals, subtract that, I get 1, 2, 6. Well, now last step here, I'm going to take and divide by 315. And that's gone, 315 is gone, I get x equals, and it should be, uh, again, well, let's just make sure. If I can just bring up the... Uh, Calculator again. Oop, so brought something else up at the same time. Here we go. Uh, 126, so 1, 2, 6, divided by 315. Oop, okay, something went wrong. 0 0.4, that sounds right actually. Let's check the other side to make sure we did that right over there because I think we made a mistake on that. Must have. Let's check. 1, 2.4. 6 divided by 31.5. Oh, that was 0.4 as well. So good thing we checked. And we can just uh, take and correct that. First of all, let's just take it and uh, erase that. There we go. And uh, 0.4. There. Good. Okay, so you can do it either method. You can do it with the decimal or without if you like to remove the decimals. Pull it out in the next example here. We've got uh, this question here, much simpler than the last example. Uh, but, you know, it's easy to make little mistakes here. I want to get x by itself. What do I have to get rid of? Well, most people would say the 1.2. It's true. But I also have to get rid of that negative sign there. The negative in front. So how do I get rid of it? Well, uh, What's the 1.2 doing to the x? It's dividing the x, so I'm going to multiply by 1.2 times. But I'm going to make it a negative 1.2 because a negative times a negative is a positive. That way I can get rid of both at the same time. Same thing to the other side. That's gone. That's gone. And I get x all by itself. And then 3.6 times 1.2. Let's go back to our calculator here. I can bring that up again. Seems to be, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, 3.6 times 1.2 equals 4.32. But now I've got to check the sign. A positive times a negative is a negative. So negative 4.32 is our answer. Okay, I hope that made practical sense here. Keep going on. Another question, something like the one we just did, except in this example, the x is on the bottom. Well, we can't have it in the bottom. We're not gonna, we have to weigh one x on the top. We don't want to, so we ought to get, how do we get x on the top? Well, first of all, if I want to remove a denominator, I just multiply by that number. So multiply by x. And it gets rid of it, and I'm going to multiply by x over here. So multiply here by x. Here the x's cancel out. And it leaves on this side 3.3. .3. On this side I got negative 5.5x. x times 5.5 is 5.5x. Now x is on top, just where I want it. It's on the left hand side. Perfect. Let's get rid of that negative 5.5. How do I do that? Well, I do the opposite of multiplying. I divide by negative 5.5. There we go. And that means that 5.5 is gone. And I get x 
equals, you divide those two, I think I can do this one in my head, it's going to be 0.6. So 3 if I have, so 0, 0.6, and it's a negative because there's one negative sign. It's two negatives that cancel out and make a positive, but it's only one. It's an odd number. And there's my answer, 0.6. Okay, check it with your calculator if you like. Last question. Let's do this just with the decimals. So how do I do this? Well, I go and I get rid of the brackets. The first step, just like with, the, with integers. So I got 0.10y equals, multiply that, 0.25 times y is 0.25y. 0.25 times negative 30 is minus 7.50, oh, 7.5, same thing. And now, uh, okay, we got rid of the bracket. Those terms are not like terms, can't add those, subtract those. Uh, but I can bring all the y's to the same side now. So let's get rid of this 0.25y and put it on the other side. So it's a positive 0.25, so I'm minus 0.25, so minus 0.25 over here, y. This one's gone. Here I get 0.15, that's negative, 0.15y equals 7.5. Oh, whatever, 7.5, same thing. And now I've got one more step to do, and that's get rid of this zero, negative 0 0.15. So it's multiplying to the opposite. I divide. And I divide this side. OK. So let's uh, bring up our calculator if I can get it. OK. Nope, it's getting started. There it is. OK. So 7. 0.5 divided by 0.15 is 50, and it's going to be a negative because there's a negative there, right? So it can't. So this y. So that's this or cancel out. So that's y equals negative 50, and there we go. All done.